What is the area of the shaded region here? We've got a circle and a 10 by 24 right triangle. Uh, hold on a second. We don't always have to have figures drawn to scale, but this is like one of the worst figures I've ever seen. This isn't even remotely to scale. Uh, give me one second. All right, that's quite a bit better. What is the area of the shaded region here? This kind of area between the triangle and the circle below the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Well, there are a couple things we can do here. First of all, the area of the right triangle is relatively easy to come up with. Like any triangle, its area is given to us by one half of the base times the height. So in this case, that's gonna be one half times 10 times 24, which is 120. From here, if we could find the area of the entire circle, all we'd have to do is subtract away the triangle we just figured out, and then this semicircle over here, and everything that's left over must match the shaded region. To find the area of a circle, of course, we need the radius of the circle. So as I'm looking at this circle, I need a way to figure out that distance from O to A, or I suppose if it were easier for some reason, that distance from O to B. Fortunately, there is such a way. Again, this is a right triangle. It has to obey Pythagorean theorem. 10 squared plus 24 squared needs to be equal to d squared, where d is the diameter of that circle. 10 squared is 100, 24 squared is 576, and that adds up to make 676. It just so happens that 26 squared is equal to 676, and so we can say for sure that that diameter is 26, meaning the radius itself is 13, and then area of a circle, pi times the radius squared, would be 169 pi. Again, the area we're interested in is going to be whatever's left over after we take that total area, 169 pi, and subtract away the semicircle, so that would be half of 169 pi, plus the area of that triangle, which again, we figured out was 120. 169 pi minus half of itself leaves the other half, 169 pi, minus again, the area of 120, 